Good morning, Zero here. And um, today, I forgot how this even works because it's been a bit. I know, I've been gone. Um, apologize, but life has taken over and I haven't been able to do anything. But um, big news today, or last week, it was big news. <laughs> anyway, Microsoft is making moves, so let's get into it, shall we? And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do so now. Uh, like the video, all that good jazz, grab yourself some coffee, sit back, relax, and let's get into it. But Microsoft has been making huge news. Um, let's just say uh, the console wars for the next generation, I guess you can say they have started and Microsoft is dropping nukes. Um, seriously, they did... Um, that uh what is it that some kind of payment plan type thing that may be good for a lot of people to sort of get them in to xbox that you know gives them game pass and all this other stuff and now microsoft themselves have acquired bethesda studios and by acquiring their parent company zenimax media and uh that is just huge <laughs> i mean people have been on to uh what is it sony for get uh to get like um it was it Konami and Capcom or something because there's games that people want they have not developed in years and they've been asking for like say Sony to acquire these companies it's like hey look Sony go ahead and acquire these companies people want more Mega Man people want more Metal Gear uh, you know they, they want things from these studios that they have however you know the studio wasn't producing it uh, you know you've got Konami and them um, Konami, yeah. I think they went to Pachiko Machines or something for, for a good long while, and they haven't done a whole lot of other things until I think maybe recently. I, I can't remember exactly what, 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 what happened. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, and then you've got things like Capcom, where Capcom hasn't done a whole lot either. Um, you know, aside from maybe some kind of re-release of like some kind of anniversary edition type thing or something uh, i mean they've done some things but i just can't think of anything at the moment that w that made me want to go and be like oh yeah capcom awesome but people have been at those companies or and at sony to purchase companies like that uh for a while and um you know that that kind of I'm not sure how I feel about that, but Microsoft here, of course, has done that move, essentially. They have acquired um, Zenimax Media, and I'm just, wow, that, that, wow, I don't know what to say about that, um, but yeah, today is a special day as we welcome some of the most accomplished studios in gaming industry to the Xbox. We are thrilled to announce Microsoft has entered into an agreement with Zenimax Studio or I'm sorry, Zenimax Media, parent company of Bethesda's software. And that's not the only thing, of course, they're the parent company of. I was going to bring up, like, make this list and everything, but somebody apparently already did it on the twatters for me, so I don't need to now. Uh, I, I just, like, the first thing I did was, like, bring up the wiki. Okay, so who all does, does uh, um, uh, whoever own whoever, because now I can't think of their name. We just said it, Zenimax own. But, uh, you know, I know Zenimax owns quite a bit. You know, they've got Bethesda, id. Um, there's uh, Zenimax Online, uh, which I think is the one who handles uh, uh, the Elder Scrolls Online, and, and a few other things as well. I just can't remember what they were. So, <laughs> you know, um, but yeah. So we, we go ahead and uh, somebody else has kind of already done that, like Xbox here. <laughs> but uh, Bethesda is an incredibly talented group of 2,300 people worldwide who make up these studios across Bethesda Softwares, uh, uh, Bethesda Softworks. You've got um, Bethesda Studios, id Software, Zenimax Online, um, Arkine Studios, which I'm not 100% sure who they are, uh, Machine Games. Tango Game Works, and those are names I've heard. Um, Alpha Dog Games and Roundhouse Studios, which are also names I've heard. Uh, I just can't tell you who did what right now because it's just too early for me and I'm just getting better. So, you know, if I die on camera, I apologize. Mm. But yeah, and, um, you know, you're looking at The Elder Scrolls, 
um, The Elder Scrolls Online, Fallout, Wolfenstein, Doom, Dishonored, The Evil Within, Prey, Rage, Quake, Starfield, which of course is uh, you know Bethesda's upcoming thing that we don't know a whole lot about. Uh, you know, coming to uh, under the PlayStation banner. I'm sorry, under the PlayStation, under the Xbox banner. And of course, you know, that, that had people talking and going on about, you know, wait, what what does this mean? Are, are some suddenly like the Elder Scrolls going to be, um, you know, exclusive to Xbox? And to be totally honest, I don't think it's going to happen like that. <laughs> You know, they, they may be owned, you know, they may actually be owned by Xbox now. Xbox may be essentially their parent company. But as for limiting uh, their games to the Xbox platform, I don't really see that happening unless, uh, you know, unless Xbox gets like really, really vindictive somehow or Microsoft does and they decide that, you know, they really, really want to for whatever reason. Um, you know, because... Microsoft has been expanding their operation. Uh, you know, they've expanded to the PC. They've been working together with like um, for different things when it comes with Nintendo. Uh, the only one who hadn't really been playing ball this entire time has been Sony. So unless they really want to kick it into Sony's pants for whatever reason, I don't see Xbox really locking it down to just purely the Xbox itself. Uh, but it does mean that there's a lot more games that are quite possibly coming to like Game Pass and um, you know whatever they decide that the name is for um, gosh what is it their their online um, thing wow I've talked about it how many times and now I can't remember what it's called X Cloud there we go yeah you know, when it comes to Xbox Cloud uh, Game Pass and all that other stuff. Um, you know, that gives them more of a library to put on there. So there's no, uh, we didn't know it was on there. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm not doing so hot today, obviously. I mean, I look like crap. My coffee, my coffee's the only thing keeping me going. Mm. Don't feel too hot either. Anyway, no, I don't have the Rona. <laughs> uh, if anything, it's probably just a stomach thing, right? But, uh, yeah, I guess that's about it. Microsoft acquired Bethesda, or I'm sorry, Microsoft acquired Zenimax, which technically gives them Bethesda, which which is going to be interesting. Um, you know, we, we've talked about a lot when it comes to Bethesda, as it is anyway. You know, the, the failures of Bethesda lately uh, with Fallout 76 and, you know, what, what they could do to make things better. And we've talked about Obsidian and things, which, by the way, is now under the same house. Um, <laughs> just in case you didn't realize, Microsoft owns Obsidian. Now Microsoft owns Bethesda. And we did get somebody who asked the question that everybody was asking. Yo, Obsidian, what about New Vegas 2? any possibility and their reaction is Neh. so um you know take that how you will i don't think there will be a um a fallout vegas 2 i i just i just doubt it no no offense <laughs> i just don't see that one actually happening um especially since obsidian started doing their own thing and they've got something in the works to sort of you know go against uh, the Elder Scrolls and stuff, it seems, and they've got their one game that already is sort of a take on a Fallout-esque, you know, futuristic kind of thing as it is. So we'll, we'll, only time will tell how this really develops and, and uh, you know, what, what happens with the talent and stuff. But um, I think it's big news. It's definitely a massive hit to Sony. Uh, I'm sorry, Sony fanboys. <laughs> I know you guys are out there, and I know y'all don't want to accept that, but uh, right now, Xbox is just straight up curve stomping Sony when it comes to the console wars, and the consoles aren't even out yet. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think down in the comments below, and I will talk to you later. See ya! Hey, thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a comment, smash that like button, and always subscribe for more. And of course there are other videos floating around somewhere on the screen, so click one of those and see if you can find something that uh, suits your fancy. Till then, I'll see you later. Bye.